move to arm twist the government to buy its line. Private airlines have threatened to suspend domestic operations on the 18th of August. Private airlines have asked the government to agree to their demand for a bailout package in the form of lower sales tax on fuel and airport taxes. Although the relationship between the governments and the airline operators worldwide has never been an easy one, the threat by Indian private airlines is a first in the century-old history of global airline industry. The Federation of Indian Airlines have expressed their grouse that the government was treating private airlines differently while they have bailed out Air India. The FIA also says that their operations are no longer sustainable with high jet fuel taxes and airport charges. And uh, well, here's what the threat... We reviewed the environment, the passenger traffic for us, the cost, and concluded that it was just not worthwhile. Please understand, we lose money because we are taxed to death. Somebody needs to listen. So, at the end of the day, we are all hurting, and it's about time that somebody listens to our screams. Now, what does the threat mean to the passengers? If needed, implemented as many as... Uh, 12,000 domestic flights will be cancelled on the 18th. The airlines such as Kingfisher, Kingfisher Red, Jet Airways, Jet Light, Indigo, Goair and SpiceJet could put the passengers in a tight spot if they go ahead with their decision. But the government maintains that the ATF was a state issue and that the airlines must instead engage in a dialogue with the state government. Late on Friday, Union Minister of Civil Aviation Praful Patel said that he understood the problems of the aviation sector but maintained that the government would do nothing that could inconvenience the public. Praful Patel even went on to say that it was up to the state government to see reason on the ATF issue.